The launch of a draft land strategy for flood-affected residents in northern NSW has been compared to the ABC TV political satire Utopia by Lismore member Yanel Safin. Key Point's long-awaited strategy for flood-free land in northern NSW released long-awaited strategy for flood-free lands in northern NSW. Local MP says communication about land strategy leaves residents in the dark. Local MP says communication in land strategy leaves residents in the dark. The long-awaited draft resilient soils strategy for the region has been published by the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation. But Ms. Sathan said the company's communication skills left many questions unanswered. We're desperate for detail, our physically and psychologically battered community, and that doesn't give us any more details about when, time periods, how, who, who, said Sathan. She continued, I've been a very vocal critic of the NRRC's failure to communicate, and this release highlights that even more. No one from the company was willing to be interviewed. Safin says Northern Rivers Reconstruction Company's communications strategy leaves much to be desired. ABC was invited to an online briefing on strategy with the company, where recording or reproducing any part of briefing is prohibited. ABC journalists were allowed to ask questions, but could not use answers or attribute comments made by everyone at the briefing. For privacy reasons, ABC is not allowed to say who is speaking during the briefing. We've all watched the Utopia series and the idea of managing comms is to do nothing, Safin said. What ABC can report is that the draft strategy defines the non-flooded land available for land supply. This map is one of many created for flood-affected ridges of the northern rivers to find future dry land. Anxious for information the area was in grip of a chronic housing shortage before 2022 flood, but disaster has made problem worse. With many people currently living in temporary shelters, being villages or caravans, residents are anxious to understand their housing options. So far, 22 sites from Grafton to Tweed have been allocated as potential land release sites in the short and long term. Of these, there are 15 sites allocated for immediate investigation, with the potential of 7,800 homes. The mayor of Tweed Shire said land in the Shire was not paddled ready despite NRRC's designation as short-term land stock. Tweed Shire Mayor Chris Cherry kept NRRC in the business of clearing land. Now we were very strongly advocating for the company to continue with that and go as fast as possible because people are still living in limbo," said C.R. Cherry. We can't get them out of the floodplain until we give them a concrete offer of land so they can choose to relocate. C.R. Cherry said land identified in the Shire was not shovel-ready and council would need support to make this happen. We were looking for restructuring company to put a lot of energy into providing this infrast.